Yeah, so uh, usually I think I actually usually sing on the second track, but I mean I can sing on the third. Plug in my mic, mess with the levels. It's pretty simple. It's probably the harder way to do this, but I don't really have a computer or anything, so use the old four track and a little mixer. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely better ways of capturing your scratch tracks. And then I pretty much uh, just get it on tempo the best I can and then um, record it digitally and then give it to my drummer, Chris Bear. And then he does the drum beats for it. And then we just start building on top of the drums, everything else. I remember when the town burned down. It was a war that my father fought for. Lit the match and he passed the torch. Let that last one like ring out. Yeah, that's cool because then it kind of leaves, kind of leaves them one more reason. It doesn't finish that whole thing. Finish the yeah. So that's cool. You want to try it again with the drum? Yeah, I feel like I feel like we, we definitely need a lot of practice with this song. Yeah. Because. sit in my room um, and just come up with songs and little ideas, you know, little thousands of little ideas kind of come from just uh, messing with my guitar and different chord progressions and then uh, I usually just record my ideas on this little recorder. Works pretty good. It holds like a hundred little little tracks on it. I don't really know how many how long the, the tracks can go for. They usually don't go for more than a you know I don't know, maybe a few minutes. But I give you a little idea of what kinda what I do, what I could be in the middle of the night and I wake up and if I just kinda have an idea, I'll just before I lose it, I get it down on a, this little recorder. It helps a lot. Um, and the phrasing of words, you know, with chords and and stuff, it kind of helps to like, oh yeah, I was I was I was singing it like that, or I was phrasing that word like that. You know, you don't that way you don't lose um, a lot of the um, personality to the lyrics, with, uh, and, and you can kind of tell what chord you're playing when you're actually you're singing it. You know, those specific words. Uh, let me see what I got. Finger picking part that kind of highlights it, and, and maybe we 
And maybe it's not even loud. Maybe it's just like turned down, moved over. You yeah. know? But it just it it, get, it it gives them an idea of like pace. Like the pace is quickening a little bit. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I think it'll be good contrast, like the course, the verse, you know, it has some more sparkly, like you know, like the guitar. Yeah. Right. And then and then when it goes and it's sad, or it stays on that one. <laughs> James 2012 from tracks.
<laughs> One more time, Chris. I hit the friggin' time! Dang it. And it's weird because I started thinking about highest point. <laughs> I was like, man, that one's gonna be rough. And What's... then I, it like came and I was like, no! <laughs> I don't know why. You're daydreaming. Yeah. Alright. Let's get it. Uh, Hold on, I need to... It's really hot. It's good, man. Get some Get off my butt. Stand up for this one. Old snap. Yeah, let's go crazy. Old snap. It's like a who gives a crap track. tracks down and mm -hmm. give you all of them okay. and you and Daniel get to decide or at least put a vote in to which ones we keep right so you're gonna get to hear them all and pick the one you think is the best too what, what do you think it'll take Chris let's do it again I'm trying to think why I chose two. Because you got sick of listening. To no, no, no. I listen to every single one of them. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll listen to them in it's... detail. So I'm trying to think why though. No, I'm saying like I always I noticed in every take that you did. Yeah. If you did mess up, there was a specific place that you messed up in. Right. And like, or you just struggled to get through it like solid. Right. Okay. So <laughs> this song you were pretty good at, like you. Yeah. But. Listening back, there's there's sections where okay that was a little bit not as strong as it, it probably could have been, right. and then you start to pick up a pattern. Mm -hmm. So then I'm listening to each track with that kind of pattern in mind, like I'm trying to find that pattern, and then I and then instead of just listening to it all the way through, I usually just go to that spot, and if it's good, then right. I listen to it all the way through. Yeah, I'm trying to think like what the pattern was in this song. Um, let's just listen to it through. And are you gonna listen to <laughs> there's number one. Are you gonna listen to one to to two? Yeah. Okay. 
This is so long of just this. It's forever. Like right now, I am. I'm literally just doing stuff that's really, really, uh, boring. <laughs> like, like I'm taking the vocal track, for instance, right now, and, and all of the tracks, and so far I've gone through them all and put the appropriate labels on them all. So I know, because it was, the whole track thing was just like a nightmare of, of disarray. So I've organized everything, and now I'm gonna, going through each track and literally just like cleaning out any weird stuff. And it's just really boring and monotonous. <laughs> I'm breathing. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see how consistent they are, though. Yeah, that's good. That one's oh, not, though. Right. But it it is. It doesn't. It's in time. But it's it in time. Before, it just does like two. But it's right, butt up to the to the transition. Right. So that could work. So I'm not. I'm not I, counting I'm that as like a mess up. Right. No, I like that. That. That sounds like something I would purposely do. <laughs> but it just happened. Okay. Gotta get it. <laughs> That's what you said. What? No, I don't. <laughs> Gotta get it. <laughs> Unless I'm breathing. <laughs> I don't say that. <laughs> that works, though. So. Well, Daniel gets to be a part of history. Uh -huh. <laughs> a part? <laughs> You get to be documented as being a part. Not just sound, but vision. Actually, this is all going to get cut anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Alright, Mule in the Mud, take five. Five? Action. We tracked everything. Individually, mostly, we recorded Daniel and Eric playing their guitars simultaneously, but we recorded it direct, and then we re them individually. Um, once we, I mean, I could go into such, I could go into like a ton of detail and take up hours, or I could go into very little detail and take up minutes, but. I mean, so far the process has just been for them to write the write the parts, and then once they were finished perfecting it, we recorded them all, and now we got a project with all the individual tracks recorded, and uh, now I'm just doing the meticulous edits, the stuff that's not a lot of fun. And once it's all clean and organized, then we'll start mixing it, and that gets a little bit more fun. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, I mean, any, do you have it? <laughs> I don't know. Me and Daniel have done so many projects that I I consider them at you know at this point as being like practice projects that we've already done so many so many just saw a song here a song there or the EP which was you know like every everything we did which that was the last thing we did and it's like every time it's better and better and I know more and more and it's kind of like uh, this album is putting everything into practice. So at this point I feel like I've already told myself everything I need to know. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> By the end of it I'll probably be I'll probably have come up with something that I will benefit from knowing for any future projects. But 
I can't think of anything specific that I would warn myself about just yet. It's been a while, but I finally finished mixing the album. Um, the guys have heard the mixes, but they haven't heard the finished masters. We sent it to a guy named Tom Coyne, who's a Grammy Award winning mastering engineer. And he did an amazing job mastering the album. And uh, the guys are on their way over to hear that version for the first time. And uh, it's pretty exciting. I think it's going to... It's gonna blow their minds. Well, first I just did guitar, and initially that's all I thought I was doing on the album. I didn't, I wasn't planning on doing guitar and bass. And then, so the guitar, both guitar tracks were done, and it was cool because we recorded live together, but everything else was separate. Um, and then, so we got the guitar tracks down, and then we needed some bass still. Um, so a few bass players. Well, basically, no one was really committing, and I already did the guitar part, so, you know, I just did the bass part, too. And, uh, that was pretty fun. I remember we got up pretty early in the morning, always made a big pot of coffee, and your dad's handmade mugs. Yeah. Giant pot of coffee. Sit up here, drink the coffee, that's a routine. Then we walk down to the shed, knock out three songs. Some days it was like... Yeah, just nail every one of them. I don't know how I'm gonna pick the take because they're all great. But sometimes it's like, God, oh, we gotta muscle through this and no, we don't. Alright, so I recorded drums like a year and a half ago. We did it all in two days. I was extremely like physically and mentally exhausted and having doubts about the drum parts, because it's my first album. And it was a little weird working with another drummer and a songwriter. But right now we're going to go down to hear the finished product. And I think I'm really excited. I think it'll turn out good. A lot better than I thought it was going to. Because I was freaking out. <laughs> so... <laughs> was that good? You in the mud, I know you're strong. That's the least acoustically sweet spot, so I got bad ears. So. Hey, no, Lucy. Oh, shit. Give me that. Gotta right. do something. You guys ready? Make a team. Right. Ready. Can we shut the light off? In some way. No. <laughs> That's not really oh, in some way. Oh, okay, we'll that. In some way. First, I get the idea, I record it under this. Second, um, I put it into the structure that I want, and then I set the tempo with the metronome, and then I record it under the four track. And then, like I said, I give it to the, my drummer, and he plays the drum beat for it, and then we just add all the tracks on top of that. It's as easy as that. Anybody can do it. <laughs> and I encourage you to do it. <laughs> Thank you.